Okay, so right now I'm also replacing the differential side seals because it seems like they were leaking a little bit, like the old seepage right there. So I'm replacing those. It's gonna go right on and uh, yeah. I already did the same on that side and yeah getting closer to putting this rear end back together all right so we have new seal installed on this side right now it's just waiting the axle So this is the one of the axles that I already rebuilt. I'm just painting it, so it's got new boots and everything. It's gonna be nice and beautiful. This is all primered right now. I'll be uh, painting it black, so she's gonna be good. All right. All right, so we installed this axle and the other axle. And don't pay attention, I'm gonna remove that tape because I was painting the axle. And also right there if you look both C clips are installed all right the maintenance surface of the differential is clean so I'm about to apply sealant to it and reseal it and also don't pay attention to that joint I'm gonna uh, reinstall it into the hub really soon Okay guys, we are ready to reinstall this uh, rear differential cover. Everything is nice and good. I put some uh, uh, gray RTV uh, sealant on the surface and right now I'll be reinstalling this rear cover. I cleaned it and prepped it. Uh, we used the brake cleaner and stuff like that. So it's awesome. Let's go ahead and reinstall it. guys the diff is resealed it's all back together and everything bolted up right there it's awesome and um, I'm about to lower this jack because I don't need it anymore and that'll be it and I'll just have to reinstall that axle and then do some more undercoating here with grease and everything I already did a bunch of stuff right there as you can see fluid film and grease uh, trailing arms everything is all greased up good stuff the best uh, rust preser preservation uh, you can do to your car yep all right guys so the diff uh, is all dry right now the sealant is dry so I'm ready to put um, fluid into this thing 75 w40 full synthetic gear oil this is actually good for limited slip diffs but uh, in this case I'm gonna Give this car all the love and put that fluid in there. 